Tinubu and Ime town criers. Eh, hey, well, we are in Saudi Arabia. Eh, so that the government can help us fix our refinery. We are in Saudi Arabia so that they can help us with dollar to stabilize the Naira. Three days later, they don't bounce 264 Nigerians from Saudi Arabia back to their country. Just because say, they enter airpiece. Peace. Eh, they enter air peace. Now air peace carry them enter the Saudi Arabia. Air peace don't commit any crime. Passengers on board, all of them, valid visa. Why then were they transported or deported? <laughs> they never, in fact, as they land, now they deport. They say, oh yeah, go back to your country. <laughs> Make I bust your head now. You know the funny part. You know the funny part. The funny part now, see, the president, commander in chief, uh, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Bola Abed Tinubu. The Jagaba. He was still in Saudi Arabia when this thing happened. <laughs> he was still with the government of Saudi Arabia negotiating how to come and fix our refineries, how to make them borrow them uh, uh, dollar to come and stabilize the night. They were still talking you know, as pali pali friends. So, nine from there is still dead there. Then deporting people. They never land do. They just they, they make a no be land to land now. Your airplane just they do like this. Oh, make it land. You understand? They say, okay, go back, go back. <laughs> then pursue your people. Go back. Your indigenous airline. No offense committed. Air peace got all the license to fly Saudi. Everything. They no come and tell us say this is if there is, nobody is wanting here. Air peace clean. Nothing do them. You understand? All the certifications, then get them. Passengers, nobody carry fake visa. All of them, whew, clean visa. Why then we are they sent back to their country? They don't even allow me the airplane. I beg. We don't be like that. They are they cap too much. I beg. Help me uh, see as it take happen. Uh, some somebody now go. They go analyze our phone. How did it take happen? Then when we come back, uh, we'll talk some more. Watch this video. The story emanating from Saudi Arabia on Monday where uh, visas of all 264 passengers transported by Nigeria's largest airline, Airpiece, were turned back by authorities of Saudi Arabia. And we don't know why at this point it seems like some sort of aerospace politics that they are playing at this point. The authorities did that when the president of Nigeria was in Saudi Arabia. Some sort of, uh, it, it appeared like some sort of a, a conspiracy uh, against uh, uh, the Nigerian airline at this point, uh, Dr. Abati. Well, I mean, I, we, we mentioned this earlier, that it is uh, very embarrassing uh, that the Saudi authorities would treat a Nigerian airline in this manner at a time when the president of Nigeria is there and businessmen from Nigeria are in uh, Saudi Arabia, and they are having discussions about how to promote trade and investment cooperation uh, between uh, both countries. And uh, I said that, look, this is disrespectful, and that the Nigerian authorities should take the matter seriously. Because as it turned out, out of the 264 uh, passengers, when the Nigerian embassy in Saudi Arabia intervened, the Saudi authorities now said, okay, about 177 people should be sent back to Nigeria, the remaining should be allowed to, uh, to get into Saudi Arabia. When originally yes. they had visas and uh, pre uh, boarding checks confirmed that those uh, uh, visas were valid and that the airline had not done anything out of place, the airline had followed procedure. So this looks like unfair practice on the part of the Saudi authorities. And given that Nigeria and Saudi Arabia has what we call the bilateral uh, air services agreement, BASA, well, the big thing there is reciprocity. When the Saudi airline is also flying to Nigeria, they should be sent back immediately. Because it's, it, uh, international relations is based on mutual respect, equality. And the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Nigeria said they are investigating. They should not just investigate. They should summon the, the Saudi ambassador to Nigeria to come and offer an explanation. And beyond Absolutely. that, our airlines in Nigeria that fly the international route, 
They need the support of the Nigerian government. They should be made flag carriers so that when they fly, yes. they, they are representing Nigeria and they will be given better courtesies and uh, respect. But I think it's so embarrassing that our president is there and this has happened. There is no offense here committed. That is the main thing. No offense committed. And our president, he did yeah, this thing happen. See, make I tell on her. Eh? When you steal something, when I hear me, you've lost respect. Though. You are a thief. You've lost respect in everyone's eye. Okay, on I think say these people know they they see what they are for this country. All this way that they were going to court, uh, this one, that one. You understand? With all the court judgment where they give. You, you, you hear me? Uh, tribunal and the uh, Supreme Court. Okay, when I say these people don't know anything. They know they watch Nigeria, they say, I see they happen. It don't happen now. Imagine a country where its citizens get to enjoy the road without this. Imagine a country where unprecedented fuel scarcity does not cause panic at the filling station. That is why Innocent Vehicles has embarked on manufacturing environmental friendly gas powered cars while still offering comfort, luxury and doggedness for the African roads. Innocent vehicles, the pride of African roads. Where is the respect of the country and its president? Where? Where? Where is it that a president of the giant of Africa, still in the same country that he traveled to to beg for naira for for dollar to to, to uh, 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 stabilize the naira, he go beg dollar. Still in that same country where they talk say hey, they can't fix our refinery, they are still negotiating. They bouncing people for no reason. And in indigenous airlines, see, go back 264. What an insult! Where is your respect, Tudubu? Where is your dignity as the president of Nigeria? Where is it? It's not all about stiffing and be stealing my mandate. Where is your respect? I don't talk finish. <laughs>